Nicotine from cigarettes, vapes or patches can cause lung cancer to spread to the brain, scientists warn. Scientists have warned lung cancer patients that nicotine could cause the disease to spread to the brain. Smokers are far more likely to develop lung cancer than non-smokers. Around 40% of lung cancer patients also develop brain metastasis, but a new study has found this number is dramatically higher among smokers. It is believed nicotine, which is found in cigarettes but is not in itself carcinogenic, is not only highly addictive but could be responsible for spreading the cancer. A A result, scientists urge lung cancer patients who are habitual smokers to not only quit smoking, but instead go cold turkey and ditch nicotine altogether. Once cancer spreads to the brain, the average life expectancy for patients is less than six months. Analysis of 281 lung cancer patients in the U.S. revealed a significantly higher incidence of brain cancer among cigarette smokers. Researchers wondered what caused this relationship, so they analyzed tumors from deceased patients and found large amounts of immune cells called M2 microglia. These create and release chemicals which are capable of enhancing tumor growth. Many cancer patients find it difficult to quit smoking even after their diagnosis due to nicotine addiction. E-cigarette, nicotine patch, and nicotine gum are commonly used as nicotine replacement therapies to help these patients cease smoking. Professor Watabe and colleagues then looked for medicines that might reverse the effects of nicotine and identified parthenolide as a potential therapy. Feverfew has been used for years to treat headaches and inflammation and is considered safe. Professor Watte believes parthenolide could provide a new approach to fight brain tumors, particularly for patients who are smokers or ex-smokers. He said, currently, the only treatment for this devastating illness is radiation therapy. Professor Watabe said he hopes to develop a clinical trial to test parthenolide in the near future, working with oncologists at Wake Forest School of Medicine, part of Wake Forest Baptist Health.